Hi there, Aquarius. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name is Julie. I'm going to do a Zodiac Energy reading for you, Aquarius, for the week of September 12th. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And if you'd like a personal reading from me, my email address is in the description box below. Let's get right to it. Aquarius, what kind of moon oracle card for Aquarius? We've got the full moon in Pisces on the 10th of September. You probably see this after the 10th, but it's going to bring in some big, big changes for us, for us all. A personal issue reaches resolution. Love this. Look at this for the full moon in Cancer. And we've got that full moon coming. It's, it's the 9th today, so it's tomorrow. It's going to really bring in some big, big changes for you. And a resolution. I like that. A resolution. Your dream needs a practical plan. Okay, that's on the bottom of the deck. We'll see what that's about. What kind of animal spirit guide is walking with Aquarius? What kind of animal spirit? Ooh, the spider. Look at this. So Aquarius. You're either really, really planning for something. You've got all of your ducks in a row here. You're really micromanaging. You're planning. You're very, very focused on something. Or you're feeling very caught up in something. Maybe that's emotions. Maybe that's work. Maybe that's you're feeling a little overwhelmed. So let's see. Let's see what that is all about. What's at the bottom? Ooh, the scorpion feeling very, very fiery, Aquarius. Very fiery. You are on fire about something here. But yeah, maybe that spider is saying that uh, feeling kind of caught up in it, feeling like you can't escape something here. But personal issue reaches resolution. So hang on. What's up in the ether? What does Aquarius not see coming? What is Aquarius? I knew that wanted to come out. Temptation, the devil. <laughs> the devil. But I also see this as temptation. The, the, the word right on the card is temptation. So... Um, yeah, is there, are there things that you need to let go of to escape this, to feel more in control, to feel like you have a little more control here? So let's find out. Let's see. What's at the bottom? Ooh, nine of earth, nine of pentacles, some real, real strong independence coming in for you. And, um, just some reconnection to yourself, some real soul searching here to find that happiness within yourself that you don't need the outside world to comply for you to be happy, for you to find your happiness, that there can still be chaos going on around you and you can still be um, masked up and um, happy, that you can just kind of go incognito for a minute and just find happiness, just escape that, that chaos. That's what I feel this spider maybe is telling us. You need to escape the chaos. You need to escape um, the uh, immediate surroundings here, the immediate environment here, and find your happiness within the chaos, within the temptations, within the, um, within the environment that you're in right now. Let's see. What are you thinking about? I'm going to pull three rows. I'm going to do your head space, your heart space, and the foundation or the reason for the reading. And then we'll pull in some clarification on uh, some energies coming in at you. Knight of Swords, very, very fast incoming communication, or you want to speak something very urgently. You're feeling this sense of urgency to get this out, to say what you're feeling here or what you're thinking, at least. It's in the mind space. Look at Archangel Michael coming out with temperance here to um, give you some balance, give you some balance in your mind space so that you can escape some of that chaos and find your own peace here. Look at that full moon there too. And the sun, the happiest card in the deck. So there's some illusions here that you've just got to break through. You've just got to shatter those illusions. <laughs> and, and speak your mind, speak your mind. Don't hold back. Do not hold back. Look at the emperor energy coming into your mind space here. You have got two major arcana in your mind space here. That's huge, huge. You're, you're shifting your thoughts. You're really finding some balance in your thoughts now and making the right moves. You're trying to be smart about this. You're trying to be very, very wise about this. And what your, your mind is just wanting to scream it out, just wanting to blurt it out here. So you're trying to keep control of that. You're trying to hold on to that thought. <laughs> Look at the queen of swords here though. 
Queen of Swords is going to say what she wants. It, it doesn't matter. There's no holding back. So there is going to be something you're probably going to say, and it might come out very harsh. It might become, it might come out harsher than you're wanting it to. So just know that this is the balance you are finding so that you can find that middle ground when you're trying to get what out what you want to say here. So you're just trying to find that balance so that people can understand and can hear you, can hear you, can hear past any kind of anger or any kind of frustration that you might be feeling. You're just making sure that people can hear you through that, through that uh, frustration that you're feeling. So that's absolutely going to be the case because the emperor here. So you really are going to be in control of these thoughts. You're getting control of your thoughts. I think you're realizing it starts with me now. It starts with my thoughts now that I'm the only one that can control my own thoughts here. And so maybe I need to ease up a little bit. Maybe I need to uh, think thoughts about my future and where I'm going and what will bring me happiness and pull out of the collective a little bit or pull out of the situation a little bit, whatever it is that you're going through. And we're all going through some something or other. So, but it's okay to maybe just pull out of that just a little bit to gain some balance in your thoughts here, because um, there's something that you need to say. You've got something that you really, really want to get off your, get off your mind here. Let's see what's in the heart space. What are you feeling? What are you feeling? What are you feeling? Empress energy. Look at this. This is so beautiful, Aquarius. And look at that full moon. You know, we're just going to have this full moon coming. So you're going to be feeling very, very fertile <laughs> during this full moon. And what I mean by that is open to receiving. You're open to receiving. You're open to receiving Mother Earth and um, the goodness in your life and the the joy in your life and the happiness in your life and, and to find that spark for life again, to find that, that thing that makes you happy, that thing that gets you out of bed in the morning, that, that thing that brings you some joy so that you can bring more of that. The law of attraction kicks in and all of a sudden more of that comes into you to make you uh, feel even better and feel even better. It's just kind of rising up the, the rungs here. But I have to point out that you have the emperor and the empress here. I mean, this is really, really, really strong independent energy coming into you. So you're going to be feeling very strong, very wise, very independent, very smart with your words, very, um, you're just exuding intelligence right now through this full moon. You're just exuding it. It's, it's amazing how intelligent you really are. You, you're just really, really smart. Um, I know that with the queen of swords and the knight of swords up here in your mind space I mean, and the emperor and temperance, my God, you're just really, really smart. But not only that, you're starting to get in touch with your feelings here and how you feel about things. You're starting to let the moon energy really come into you and feel these feelings um, that you've kind of suppressed for quite some time. So that is just absolutely beautiful because you're just nurturing them and you're just loving them and you're just understanding yourself and how you've reacted and what you've gone through. And, and it's been a personal journey for you. It really, really has. It's been really hard for you. I remember these readings, Aquarius, where you just were going through some stuff. But boy, it's just coming back to you now. Karma really is paying you back now, Aquarius. You're just getting this uh, beautiful, beautiful, nurturing, loving energy coming in. And the major arcana is blowing my mind with the chariot coming out next. I mean, talk about finding balance. You have found so much balance that there's nothing that can ever throw you again. There's nothing that's going to be able to knock you off this throne of balance that Aquarius has found. I mean, you are balanced. And you are just letting go of the reins. You're letting spirit guide you now. You're, you know that the world is filled with dark things and filled with evil things. But you also know that the world is filled with light and love and happiness and joy. And that this is it. This is it. We are on the leading edge here. We are creating all of these experiences. We are the expansion of the universe. And what we're feeling expands the universe. And you've just come into this whole understanding this true true balance of that and it's allowing you to come out of this this web here oh my god <laughs> the world <laughs> the world i can't believe if you're a tarot card reader you've got to be freaking out at the major arcana here i mean this is absolutely the end the end of that old cycle the end you are done with it you are on this card i don't know which symbol is yours because i only know the the original raider uh or weight tarot but Aquarius is on this card with Taurus and Scorpio and Leo and you you're done you are out of that cycle 
Aquarius, you're done with it. You're done with the lessons. You're done with it. At least the very, very life-changing hard lessons. You're going to continue to learn lessons now of light and where that can bring you and the joy and the happiness of life again. And, and that those are all new lessons for you because especially you've been unplugged for quite some time and now you've plugged back in. You're allowing those emotions to wash over you. And that's just so healing for you. It's very, very healing for you. And you're done. You're done with that cycle. Now it's time. It's time. <laughs> Look at this with the Page of Cups. Things are going to happen now that you never thought possible. You did not see yourself doing this. You never imagined you're, you're doing things you never thought you would now that you've come into this newfound independence and strength. So, wow, that is beautiful. You're feeling this urge to do something you've never done before, to see something you've never seen before, to experience something you've never experienced before. Those are those new lessons coming into you in this new cycle. The lesson of love, the lesson of joy, the lesson, the lesson right there is it's coming into you. You're, you've, you've completed it. You're done. Look at the seven of wands, putting yourself in that little bubble and really, really being happy, finding true joy within yourself in moments of lightness. In moments of lightness, you're feeling lighter than you have in a very, very long time. And that's because of the, the harshness that you have been through, the tough things that you have been through. But you're feeling very, very, very calm now. Seven of Wands into the Eight of Wands. There's that travel again for you. I've been getting this travel card. And, you know, uh, it's just something in Aquarius's chart here where you are traveling, you're traveling, either you're leaving your mind and traveling to an, another world, other worlds, or you're physically traveling overseas far away, or, or you're just visiting somewhere very far. You're, you're traveling. You're a traveler right now. You're a traveler. Could be in your thoughts. It could be physically, but you are absolutely a traveler. In the foundation, we've got the four of wands. That was you kind of holding on to these emotions. And then you just had no choice. You had to really get those emotions processed, really accept, really acceptance. This is acceptance in your life, Aquarius. You really came into a, a solid acceptance here. And that changed everything. It allowed you to balance out those emotions. It allowed you to balance out those thoughts completely and changed everything for you. But now you're preparing with the three of wands. There's a real need to prepare here. You are preparing for a brighter day, a brighter future, a happy future, a new cycle, a new day. I'm going to let this, I'm going to pretend I'm in two different lifetimes here. I jumped timelines here. This didn't even exist here, that, that harsh stuff from the past. And you're just moving on, just moving on. And it is time for you to, it is time for you to feel the wonderfulness of life, to feel the joy of life, to feel the reconnection of those that are that have survived around you. I mean, we have really had a big, big divide happen here worldwide. So those that are with you are with you. I mean, through thick and thin, and those that are not, were meant to go their own way. We're meant to get out of your experience here because you've got big things to do. You've got big fun to find. And that wasn't fun. That wasn't fun. So this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Six of swords moving on from that, just really, really letting it go. And uh, just creating this whole new life for yourself, this whole new, new experience for yourself. Wow. Anything else in the foundation for Aquarius? Aquarius. Ooh, look at this with the seven of cups and the lovers, <laughs> a real, real intense, intense contract and options, choices, uh, really, really choosing wisely here when it comes to relationships and who those soul contracts, those soul bonds really are. I think you're just coming into this very, very strong understanding of who that is. And it's, uh, it's another balancing of that too, of the soulmate energy, of the twin flame energy. There's not this intenseness to you when it comes to this soulmate energy. Like normally the twin flame energy is a uh, very, very, very difficult journey where there's a runner and a chaser and it's very hard to get through. It's, it's almost impossible to survive it. It, it really is. But if you can survive it, it, you become two different people at some point. And, and so you're not even the same and that's why it survives. But for, 
But for Aquarius, I feel like you're coming into this intense uh, relationship that's intense in understanding and intense in love and an intense in, in uh, compassion. It's not this intense need to control you and, and you need to be this person for me to be happy where it might have been in the past where Aquarius, they were forcing you to change for them to be happy. They couldn't find that happiness within themselves. And so they just put this extreme pressure on you to change in this soulmate relationship from your past. But now you're coming into this new soulmate energy with the emperor where you have this, this whole new understanding of what that soulmate even means to you. And now it's this real strong, strong bond that no one can part, that no one can separate. And, um, but you're, you, I feel like you're choosing it. Like you have several that you could choose from. And we do, we all have so many different soulmates, different lessons to learn from people, but you're choosing wisely here on the soulmate. That's not going to be so, so difficult. It's not going to be that twin flame journey. It's going to be really fun and light and laughing a lot. And, um, the other side of, of the, uh, the neediness of the relationship, the other side of that. So that is beautiful. You're coming into some kind of relationship that you're choosing. That's up to you now that didn't just get thrown in your path from spirit to teach you a lesson. This is your choice now. Absolutely. 100% your choice. Look at these offers that are coming into you with the Knight of wands on the Knight of swords. Like there are really, really harsh, harsh, um, words, coming for you, but the harshness is going to be like, um, blunt. I, I'm changing my word from harsh to blunt here, Aquarius, because it's almost going to make you laugh when they come in with this message of, of something like there's going to be somebody coming in to make you an offer. And it's almost going to make you laugh. It's almost going to make you laugh because it seems very cute, like very childlike, like they're very shy to even come in and make you this offer. And um, that's going to be one of the people maybe that you're choosing from down here in the, with the Seven of Cups. Ten of Pentacles over the Emperor and the Queen of Swords. Wow, wow, wow. Somebody really does want to come in and make you an offer. Really wants to give you this stable home, this stable, this the, the other side of the angst of the relationship like I was seeing down here. Somebody is absolutely wanting the same exact thing with you that you want with them. And it's of your choosing. You choose. You say, I like that person and I want to see where that's going to go. And you... Um, do that. And you, or if you're with somebody that you're a different person now, and they're a different person now, I'm feeling like that's another route that this could go where you've gone through this soulmate journey here and you, you're completely different people, or you've met someone from your past that you had this intense connection with, and it's reigniting right now. It's the other side of the angst of the relationship. It's the other side of the devil energy here when it comes to relationships. It's for you to be able to see the, um, the safety net that relationships can bring. And it, it's unconditional love is really what it's, what it's saying to me is that this person is going to love you no matter what and vice versa that you're going to, you're going to be, it's, it's an acceptance of each other, a very, very solid acceptance of each other. Six of swords, again, look at this moving on. So they're moving on from something too. They're moving on from their own troubled waters, their own uh, plight when it comes to relationships, this person that's coming in and um, yeah. Yeah, everything fell apart for them. Look at this. So you're going to be hearing their horror story. They're going to be, their whole life is about to change. And um, it really fell apart for them too. So yeah, a new relationship coming in that's going to really understand what you've been through because they're going through something right now. So whoever you're dealing with, they're going through something right now, some kind of big um, crack in their foundation, some kind of big crack in their foundation. Page of Pentacles, this is more offers, more offers, maybe on the work front too as well. Offers of money, offers of career, offers of some kind of job or promotion or raise. Somebody sees what you're doing here. Somebody's um, giving you more money for what you're doing here. So that's beautiful. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see in the foundation what kind of energy coming to you. There's that person from the past wanting to reconnect with you. Somebody that you had a real, real strong connection with and you felt it maybe when you were young and you just kind of lost touch with each other or you just, but you've always been kind of on each other's mind with Mercury retrograde right now. That does not surprise me because all these old relationships are coming back now and they want closure. They want closure and maybe you do too. It's not always a bad thing for these, um, for these reuniting sometimes it's bad but this one seems to be very good for you except they're going through something and i don't want them to pull you into their drama because you've already been in through your own drama so just be um just disconnect yourself a little bit because you've got things to do and um 
yeah, dreams to accomplish here. <laughs> Eight of Wands again. Three of Wands again. There's that preparing. There's that planning. Six of Pentacles and Eight of Swords. Yeah, look at this. This is absolutely wonderful. So there is somebody kind of mirror imaging you, some kind of soulmate, somebody who's been in their head, somebody who's gone through some things and uh, they're looking for some reciprocity with you. They want closure. They want to um, start over. There's, there's some kind of wanting here to start over from someone's part here. And I think you are starting over in your own way here. So I don't know. I don't know where this is going to go. You'll have to let me know in the comments. There's, there's two paths I do see here. I see a reuniting of someone from your past that you um, had separated for quite some time. And that was the separation journey of the soulmate, which you two have done. And you've changed, you've elevated, you've grown into two different people here. And you're coming together into this beautiful, wonderful a uh, power couple here and you're traveling and you're seeing new things and you're experiencing new things. This person has been through a lot of the same things you've been through and has learned a lot of the same lessons or it's too much for you and you're just meeting this person now and you're just coming out of something that has been really hard for you and it seems just too dramatic for you because you're trying to, I, I saw two paths with the spider here, remember? So um, you're trying to escape your own angst when it came to what you have been through in the past year. So it just becomes a little too much for you. And um, that's where the Seven of Cups is like, hmm, I, I don't know if I'm up for more drama right now because I'm trying to find um, the I'm trying to find the uh, rainbow here. I'm trying to find the peace here. I'm trying to find joy here. I'm trying to find happiness here. Maybe I don't really need to deal with that yet right now, right now. And so you walk away from that and you say, not right now. And um, you go on to experience these wonderful, wonderful things. And then maybe you come back together in the future. So there's just the two different kind of scenarios I see happening here for you. But for you, for your energy underneath all of this, don't forget these top cards are people, energies coming to you. These are not your energies. These are what people are presenting to you. So underneath here, you have major, 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 majorly completed a cycle here, Aquarius. You are done with something. You've completed it. You've learned the lesson. You're done with it. And you're into a whole new brand new seven-year cycle here where everything is going to go your way. Everything is going to go how you've planned it here. Now, how you're preparing now for your future, it's going to be exactly that. You're planning wisely. You're preparing very, very wisely here. And uh, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy to see this energy come in for you. So, all right. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And if you'd like a personal reading from me, my email address is in the description box below. I hope you have a fantastical week, and I will definitely tune in with you soon.